The Porta Valencia, gateway to the world and the stage for the second race of the season on Spanish soil. Awaiting the fans is another street circuit, just as spectacular as Monaco, though admittedly without the glamour. At 185 metres, the start-finish straight is shorter than at any other Formula 1 circuit in use this year. The average speed here is over 200 kilometres per hour, and the 5.4 kilometre circuit is pretty demanding on the drivers. They have to turn the steering wheel 25 times, overtaking manoeuvres not included, although here they are somewhat rare. To link the northern and southern parts of the port, the city built a swing bridge, which the Formula One cars have to cross on each lap of the course. One of the critical spots for the drivers, the right-hander after the bridge. The trick here, and key to a good lap time, is to accelerate as soon as possible. That way you take lots of important momentum with you onto the next and longest flat-out section of the circuit. For 13 seconds you go at top speed along the Riverside Road. Then comes the hardest braking point. The drivers decelerate here by 240 km per hour in a matter of seconds, creating one of the circuit's best chances to overtake. Valencia combines extremely high speeds with city flair. The circuit's designers have achieved this combination very well, and the fans love this special Spanish charm. The circuit, over 5.4 kilometers long, was conjured up in less than a year, because the roads were already there anyway, and most of the stands are temporary. Just ahead of the start-finish straight, it's sharp left again, and then off on to lap two of 57.